All right, so Blueface officially responds to Chris Brown calling out him and Chris Sean's relationship and basically how he's allowed to put his hands on his girl. But when re when Chris Brown made one mistake, the whole world basically just tried to cancel him. Now, depending on if you like Chris Brown or not, not Chris Brown, depending on if you like Blueface or not, you may or may not really truly receive what he said because he had some really good points. Um, and his and his points were, hey, you know, at the end of the day, we were both dealt two different hands. You know what I'm saying? He's basically saying that in a weird way, and it's going to sound really bad to say, but you can't compare the situation because he's beating on Rihanna or beat on Rihanna, who is at a time America's sweetheart. And Blueface and Krishan is a very much ghetto situation where people just like to see the train wreck, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Rihanna just came off of performing at the Super Bowl. ASAP Rocky can't even breathe wrong before the Navy will be all on his ass. You know what I'm saying? Whereas Krishan Rock and Blueface, everybody just wants to see it. It's just that simple. People, their guilty pleasure is watching Chris, uh, Blueface and Krishan Rock beat on each other. And... It's, it's unfortunate that one is held at a heavier weight than the other, but like Blueface is saying in his video, that's life. It is what it is. And one of his points that he said in his video, it would him complaining the way Chris Brown is, is would be the same as him putting his hands on Chris Sean and then the BET Awards won't let him perform anymore. Or the BET Awards won't let him, or nobody will let him perform. And he said that would be like, oh, well, Chris Brown put his hands on Rihanna and he's still able to perform. Da, 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 da. It's it's definitely not the same. And it's unfortunate to say that because they're both women and both men should never put their hands on women. But unfortunately, again, one group of people likes it and enjoys seeing it. And the other group is like, no, no, you should never. Da, 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 da. So, hey, I want to know what you guys think. Um, It is an unfortunate situation where I do sympathize with Chris Brown a lot. It happened when he was 17. That was 16 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Almost 16 years ago that that happened. And he's he went on his atonement run. He's he's tried his best to clean up his image and, and just try to do right. And it just seems like no matter what he does, there's always somebody in the corner that says, no, fuck him. He touched Rihanna. And I don't know if he'll ever escape it. Even if Rihanna herself were to come out on the podium and say, hey, guys, I... I forgive Chris Brown. I want Chris Brown to succeed. Please stop bringing up that situation. I don't think anybody would ever, ever stop doing it. I think if, in fact, if she were to do that, she would receive backlash. Uh, because again, there's so many people out there that sympathize with her situation. So many people out there that use her as like a beacon of hope and, and use her as like this, okay, she left a domestic, uh, a domestic situation. I can too. So I definitely get it. But regardless of the fact is, I want to know what you guys think down below. Um, this is this is definitely interesting stuff.